Alright, so greetings everyone. Welcome to the fourth and final episode for this problem right here. In the last video, we left off with solving for the density of the air when it reaches the throat. And the density is this one. Right now, again, we are still looking for the area of the throat. And the solution to get the area of the throat is that we need to understand that that can only be solved by using the mass flow rate equation. And again, the mass flow rate equation is given by density times area times velocity. And we are looking for the area of the throat, therefore we need to get the density at the throat and the velocity of the throat. We also need to know the mass flow rate at the throat. Luckily, the mass flow rate hole throughout the nozzle or the wind tunnel nozzle is just the same, which is 0 0.5 kilograms per second. And the... Velocity, we have already solved for that one, which is 580.23 meters per second. And that the density is what we have, we have solved for in the last video. So let's try, just try to um, simplify the equation. So that we will be able to solve for the area at the throat. Right. So let's continue that one right here. So substituting known values. Mass flow rate is 0 0.5. And density is a bit long. Just don't want to round up some values. Oh, I forgot the uh, values after 580.23, but that's fine for the sake of solving the problem. Again, if you're still trying to figure out the uh, not the final answer, don't round up. Alright, so for that one, use your calculators. We get an area of 3.8551. 7099 9 times 10 to the negative 4. What is the unit for this one? It should be in the units of area, which is in meters squared. Now, how do we know the units are correct? Let's try to solve for that one. Kilograms per second, that's the mass flow rate. Density is in kilograms per cubic meter. So I'm just going to put cubic meter up here and then the velocity is in meters per second cancel that one out cancel that one out we get meters squared we get the correct units for this one and to remove this um, scientific notation right here we can convert this this into a values into Centimeters. So that's around 3.86 cm squared. Let me write that down properly. The area at the throat is just 3.86 centimeters squared. So that is all for this 
series of videos about this problem right here. Now, what I want you to do is to solve for question D. Now, the process to solve for question D is just the same as what we did for solving the answer for question C. All right. So what we did was we figured out that the only way for us to solve for the area is we need to use the mass flow rate equation. Now, since we don't have the, uh, we have the mass flow rate value, we have the velocity value for the exit, for letter D, but we don't have the density value for the region in the exit. Well, what I can do is to solve for that value of density in the exit by using the isentropic state relations. After getting that density, I can just automatically substitute it in this equation. And then I can get my area, which is around, according to the book, it's around 24.2. centimeters squared. So thank you so much for joining me in this session right here and I hope you guys have understood the whole process in solving this uh, question right here.